Meteors crashing down on Earth all the way from outer space is a common occurrence. However, over the years, some rather unusual things fell from the sky that rocks the foundation of everything we thought we knew. Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another video on our channel. Today we will share with you, this terrifying black object just crash landed from outer space, so stay tuned and let's get right into it. We have always looked to the skies with awe and wonder, but every now and then, instead of sending something up to the stars, something from the sky comes crashing down to Earth. We can never know what to expect when something random comes crashing out of the heavens, so from insane life-changing meteorites to stones with alien inscriptions we have yet to decipher, follow along for six mysterious objects that fell from the sky. Number 1. UK Meteorite during the lockdown of February 2021, in Gloucestershire, a number of surveillance cameras and local residents captured a fireball streaking through the sky that would turn out to be one of the most miraculous things to ever crash down to Earth. The asteroid split into a few pieces scattered around gardens, but the biggest piece of rock fell right into a family's driveway. The samples were immediately collected for study and what scientists discovered about the magic asteroid shocked the whole world. For starters, it was dated to be 4.6 billion years old, originating from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, which gave us an unrivaled glimpse into the universe all this time ago. At the University of Oxford's Department of Physics, the fragments were analyzed by Dr. Catherine Shirley, using infrared spectroscopy to map the meteorite's mineral composition, found that the Winchcombe specimen belongs to a rare class of meteorites called CM carbonaceous chondrites, which originates from primitive asteroids in the asteroid belt. It is the first ever meteorite of this type to be found in the UK. Samples of the Winchcombe meteorite are currently on public display at the Natural History Museum in London, the Winchcombe Museum, the Wilson Art Gallery, Cheltenham. Number 2. Hoba Meteorite The Hoba, short for Hobo West, is a meteorite that lives on the farm of the same name, not far from Grunfontein. In the Ocho Zonjupa region of Namibia, it has been uncovered, but because of its large mass, has never been moved from where it fell. The main mass is estimated at more than 60 tons, it's the largest known intact meteorite as a single piece. The Hoba meteorite left no preserved crater and its discovery was a chance event. In 1920, the owner of the land, Jacobus Hermanus Spritz, encountered the object while plowing one of his fields with an ox. The Hoba meteorite impact is thought to have occurred less than 80,000 years ago. It's inferred that the Earth's atmosphere slowed the object in such a way that it impacted the surface at terminal velocity, thereby remaining intact and causing little excavation, expulsion of Earth. The meteorite is unusual in that it is flat on both major surfaces. The meteorite is composed of about 84% iron and 16% nickel, with traces of cobalt. It is classified as an ataxite iron meteorite, belonging to the nickel-rich chemical class IVB. A crust of iron hydroxides is locally present on the surface, due to weathering oxidation. In 1987, the farm owner donated the meteorite and the site where it lies to the state for educational purposes. Later that year, the government opened a tourist center at the site. As a result of these developments, vandalism of the Hoba meteorite has ceased and it is now visited by thousands of tourists every year. Number 3. Hieroglyph Mystery, 1908 in 1908, in the vicinity of the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, while William McKinnon, the 14-year-old son of Mr. Angus McKinnon, was working in his father's garden around half past 11 o'clock, a meteor about 10 inches in diameter was hurled through space and buried itself in the ground, about 8 feet from where he was standing. Luckily, he was not injured by the meteorite. Willie immediately called his father to see what happened, and when Mr. McKinnon came to the spot, he was shocked to find that the meteor was almost as round as a marble, and that the hot surface was deeply scored with what resembled hieroglyphics. Since this weird incident, Mr. McKinnon spent most of his life trying to decipher the strange markings on the mysterious stone. However, this strange outer space stone appears to have never been examined, because any research paper regarding it has not yet been found. Today, its actual location is unknown, but it is believed to be hidden and locked away. The strange outer space stone engraved with hieroglyphics still remains an unexplained mystery. Wait! Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to show your love and support by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future uploads. Now without further ado, let's get back to our video. Number 4. Lucky Meteorite in Indonesia An Indonesian man became a millionaire overnight after a meteor crashed through his roof. Joshua Hutagalung is a coffin maker from Sumatra, who became astronomically richer after he recently sold the meteorite for over 1 million pounds, or roughly 9.8 crore. 
Mr. Hutagalung was working outside his home in August when the 2.1 kg space rock smashed through the tin roof in his veranda. He told the news outlet Compass at the time, the sound was so loud that parts of the house were shaking too. And after I searched, I saw that the tin roof of the house had broken. When I lifted it, the stone was still warm. According to the Independent, the meteorite is carbonaceous chondrite, an extremely rare variety estimated to be 4.5 million years old. It is reportedly worth around 645 pounds, approximately 63,000 crore per gram. Joshua Hutagalung has now sold the rock to a specialist collector, Jared Collins of the USA. Mr. Collins has reportedly resold it to fellow collector Jay Piatek who has stored it in liquid nitrogen at the Center for Meteorite Studies at Arizona State University. Number 5. Gibeon Meteorite Since it was first discovered in 1836 in Great Namaqualand, Namibia, Africa, more than 25 tons of Gibeon meteorites have been recovered, and although export and sale was banned by the Namibian government, it's still one of the most commonly available meteorites on the market today. The Gibeon meteorites come from broken asteroid fragments, or an exploded star and radiometric dating places the age at around 4 billion years old. Gibeon meteorites are composed of iron, nickel, and small amounts of cobalt and classified as a fine octahedrite iron meteorite. Some other minerals that may be found in the meteorite are chromite, debrilite, instatite, chemosite, tannite, troilite, or tritimite. Lines and patterns are the result of cooling in outer space over billions of years, and etching slices with dilute nitric acid allow these patterns, known as Widmanstaten lines, to be more visible. Until recent years, most Gibeon meteorites that were recovered weighed between 200 and 1100 pounds. One of the largest masses ever found weighed over 1400 pounds, probably due to better metal detection equipment. Many smaller specimens have been recovered recently. Number 6. Chelyabinsk, a mid-sky asteroid explosion. On February 15, 2013, a small asteroid with an estimated size of 65 feet 20 meters, entered Earth's atmosphere. It was moving at 12 miles per second when it struck the protective blanket of air around our planet, which did its job and caused the asteroid to explode. The bright, hot explosion took place only about 20 miles 30 kilometers above the city of Chelyabinsk in Russia and carried 20 to 30 times the energy of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Its shockwave broke windows and knocked down parts of buildings in six Russian cities. Furthermore, it caused 1,500 people to seek medical attention for injuries, mostly from flying glass. A large number of small meteorites fell on areas west of Chelyabinsk, and within hours of the visual sighting of the meteor, a 20-foot hole was discovered on the frozen surface of Lake Chebarkul in the Russian Ural Mountains. Scientists from the Ural Federal University collected 53 samples from around the hole that same day. All these scary and unexpected objects crashing down from the sky makes us want to watch our back every time we're under clear skies. You never know when a fiery large black object from the sky might hit the place you're most familiar with.